China's effective diplomacy has taken center stage on the global scene, highlighted by the Iran-Saudi Arabia rapprochement in 2023 and the recent Beijing declaration where 14 Palestinian factions agreed to end division and strengthen national unity. In today's video, let's discuss the key takeaways from the Beijing declaration, its potential impact and its overall significance. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. And if you already have, thanks for your support. I've noticed that some subscribers have been unsubscribed without them knowing, so make sure that you are still subscribed. And let's continue with today's video. On July 23rd of this year, the closing ceremony for the Palestinian reconciliation talks concluded in Beijing. It was Wang Yi, China's foreign minister, who's known for his diplomatic prowess and probably one of my favorite politicians here in China, um, the person who was at the event closing the ceremony. He subsequently uh, departed for Laos to attend the ASEAN foreign ministers meeting. We're going to discuss that meeting and Russia's ASEAN proposal in a different video. So again, make sure to stay subscribed. The three-step initiative for Gaza conflict resolution that was outlined focuses on a path towards the ceasefire, a post-conflict governance, and an eventual UN membership for Palestine following a two-state solution. Wang Yi's message on achieving a ceasefire was very clear. The first thing to do is to stop the killing and start talking. The reason we are calling for this meeting is that we are very concerned about the humanitarian situation in Gaza, and we do believe that it's time to stop the killing. And we urge the U.S. to put more pressure on Israel to achieve a ceasefire as, as quickly as possible. However, convincing Israel to participate is going to be a complicated challenge. But a united Palestinian government is crucial, as Israel often cites Hamas control as a reason for their continued hostilities. This is why the unity that was proclaimed in the Beijing Declaration holds such promise. The agreement among the 14 factions that include the long-standing rivals Hamas and Fatah to form an interim national reconciliation government is a significant step forward. Organized elections and establishing a new government could potentially prevent future violence. However, a new government's legitimacy really depends on international recognition, and this is why this is connected to the third step, securing UN membership and the two-state solution for Palestine. China is leveraging its diplomatic influence to persuade key UN Security Council members to support this objective. All of Palestine and Israel neighbors were included in this conversation in Beijing. In addition, it was Turkey, Qatar, Algeria and Russia, which lends considerable weight to the declaration that was signed. Of notice is that not a single Western state was represented at the event, which really illustrates we are in a brand new world where the West is not even part of a conversation for what is arguably one of the most important diplomatic initiatives in years in the Middle East. Some people, usually Westerners, are skeptical about the Beijing Declaration's potential for peace. But this agreement between the 14 Palestinian functions, which again include Hamas and Fatah, is a significant step forward. Because resolving the Palestinian issue, establishing a Palestinian state and achieving regional peace, all these things hinge on this newfound unity. And, and this is the essence of China's effective diplomacy, which is the title of today's video. Unlike Western powers, which often rely on sanctions or coercion or military force, China prioritizes dialogue and non-interference and pragmatic solutions, period. And that's what we witness in Beijing. China's diplomats inform the parties about the necessary steps to achieve their goals but they emphasize very clearly that these steps must be taken independently. They cannot walk the line for them. One factor 
that in my opinion positions China strategically for this type of international diplomacy is its successful management of a remarkably diverse population. China and its 1.4 billion people across 56 ethnic groups has achieved harmonious coexistence while at the same time navigating challenges such as separatism, terrorism, and foreign interference with its it's similar to what is taking place in Gaza. The Chinese exemplify this principle of walk the talk, right? And in particular, in case of, of wars, right, with all this death and destruction that we see in Gaza, I feel that China is exceptionally well suited to assist in the reconstruction of Palestine after the war is over. You only need to look at the kind of infrastructure that they were able to build and the economy that they have developed in the last 40 years after enduring their own death and destruction at the hands of imperial powers that invaded them. This is why China is becoming a driving force for peace around the globe. To them, the failure to end humanitarian disaster in Gaza is a tragedy for humanity and a disgrace for civilization. It is no surprise that Palestinian faction leaders we're expressing sincere appreciation for China's steadfast support and selfless assistance in achieving peace and securing a UN seat. They commended China for acting as a responsible adult, like a major country, and on upholding justice for Palestine in these international forums. The success of these very, very young peace process could shift the balance of power in the Middle East. It could position China as a significant regional player. Globally, on the other hand, this eventual success might encourage other nations to view China as a credible mediator and a partner in resolving long-standing conflicts. All right, friends, if you want to stay updated on China's role in shaping global peace efforts, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And you know what to do if you like it. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.